Hey kids, it's Miss Shannon with Destination Reader here. Um, I know it's been a while since I've posted a video. Um, I really have been thinking about everything in life that's overwhelming um, with COVID hitting all of us and how school has changed and how home life has changed and um, just the simple task of what you do every single day has changed. So, um, you know, it was brought to my attention that we have children um, that are in second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth and higher grades that nobody reads to them. Um, I enjoy reading, not because I'm a school librarian, but because I think it's fun to kind of make up voices and to um, just kind of see where you can go in a book because you never know where it will take you. Um, I always say all the time, read them, don't eat them just because we don't want eaten books. Um, we tend to put our mouth on things that definitely should not have our mouth on them. Um, but the reason why I am doing this video is because I wanted you guys to know, yes, this Destination Reader with Miss Shannon was started because I was going on a vacation um, and I wanted to take our kids in Bement, Illinois um, on the destinations with me even if they physically couldn't come. It's nice to see what everybody else has to offer that's not in the town of Bement. Um, so what that had me thinking was, what do you do in the sense of COVID? You know, I kind of said, mm, I'm kind of done reading because everything in life kind of started weighing down on me. Um, and I think it's time to change that. So this is just a short little video to let you guys know that Miss Shannon with Destination Reader is going to be coming back. Um, but I don't think the destinations are going to be as fancy as an ocean or a really cool um, house that you can stop at and just sit on the front porch and swing. Um, we've went to, we have gone to the Gulf Arium. Um, we have gone to the Gulf of Mexico multiple times in different locations, whether it be in the state of Florida or the state of Alabama. Um, we have stopped at the big Superman thing at the end of the state of Illinois, right before you cross over. Um, I even believe we have stopped in Tennessee. Um, there may have been some rest stops that we stopped at that you may not have thought was super important, but historically they were important. Um, so we're gonna try Destination Reader Miss Shannon, COVID-19 style. So just to let you guys know, those of you that do subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe. We're going to get everybody out there. We're going to try to change the way we do reading um, in the time that the world has changed us. Um, I know I will say this, um, as the school librarian, my challenge this year is for the kids to learn to read outside the book. Um, if you don't understand what that means and your kids are in second through fifth grade, ask them. They surely can tell you what that means. We are going to learn to read anything um, that improves our reading skills and give us confidence so that when we get to a book, it's available. And our skills are so good that it's not a challenge. Um, I have told many of people, let alone my students, this being on YouTube, I am now telling the world, I did not like to read for a personal benefit um, until the age of 40, or stop, till the age of 30. Um, so what that means is, that means that I read because I was required to. I, read, I didn't read because I enjoyed it or I wanted to. Um, I come from a family of teachers. Um, I come from a family of readers. <laughs> um, I believe in a three month period of time, my mom read on eBooks, um, electronic books. She read probably close to a hundred, if not more books in a three month period of time. Um, when I say I come from readers, I mean I come from readers. So the fact that I never got that uh, because I have dyslexia and because I have learning disabilities that kind of hindered me in school, it has now made me be the person that as an adult, I don't want to see you struggle how I struggled, so we need to fix that. So the great news is the benefit of BMIT Illinois is getting that, that taught to them as a lesson from me, Miss Shannon, because I don't want to see those kids struggle. Reading is a beautiful thing. Um, a lot of times in life, we don't have a place to go. 
example, COVID-19. We have been told to stay at home for months and months and months for fear of this virus um, some of us have, have had the viruses in our families or have been affected by the viruses. Um, and we've got to learn to escape that world. And I know that I personally, since I've been 30, um, have escaped in books. You know, books are, are stories that are either real or not real um, or have some truth to them that you might be able to escape and get away from what's going on around you. I know when times get really stressed for me, I find a book. Um, I, I put myself in a book because I don't wanna be in my life, I wanna be in somebody else's. And if as a kid or an adult, you are to the point that you just need a break, maybe a book is for you. Maybe you don't know what type of book you do or don't like to read. Um, my strongest suggestion is try, try a few. Um, Try something that you don't even think you're interested in because I can promise you, you're gonna find the book that you love. And once you find the book that you love, you'll find an author that you love, you'll find a series that you love, you'll find so many different things. So this is Destination Reader with Miss Shannon um, coming to you from Bement, Illinois, um, letting you know that we are starting COVID style. So our destinations, you may know, you may not always want to visit, but I think you guys are going to love them. Okay, so this is just kind of a, a intro to let you guys know I'm back. Um, I am going to start back where I left off with um, Surf Arts a lot. Um, there are some videos out there already, so you can catch yourself up to the story. That's the greatest thing about online is where you've missed off, you can catch up to. Um, I don't know what to say outside of read them, don't eat them, and of course, like always, smell you later, gator.